Okay, children, what does this picture show you? It shows a nature park. How does this place look? It looks dirty. One doesn't feel like visiting it, isn't it? So, can this place be used for playing? No. The people who have visited this place have littered it. How irresponsible of them, isn't it? Now, we'll go to the next slide and see what kind of a place we would like to visit. Okay, children. What does this picture show? It shows the picture of a park. Who are playing here? Children. A boy with curly hair, a boy wearing a cap, a girl with a ponytail, a dog, few birds, butterflies, all of them are playing and enjoying. How does this place look? It looks neat and clean. And if we look at this picture, we really would like to visit this place. So children, remember, it is our responsibility to keep our surroundings also clean. Our responsibility is not only towards our own house, but also towards our surroundings. Okay? We must not litter any place we visit, whether it is a park, whether it is a mall, whether it is a lake or a pool. Okay, we must remember that we should keep the surroundings, whichever surrounding we are in, neat and clean and hygienic. Children, here are a few true and false. Let us read them and then think about it and we will just discuss them. We should not litter the park. We must wait for our turn to go on the slide. We must not harm the plants. We must pick anything we find in the park. We must play in the park till it is dark. Think about it. Okay. Now, we should not litter the park. It's true. We must wait for our turn to go on the slide. That is also true. We must not harm the plants. True. We must pick anything we find in the park. False. We must play in the park till it is dark. It is false. So children, these are a few things we must remember while we visit a park. Children, just now we did a few true and false about do's and don'ts in while playing in the park. This is because the lesson which we will read next time is in the children's park. It's related to a park. Today, I will just introduce you that, to that lesson. That lesson in the children's park is about students of class 1. Where are they? What are they doing? Whom do they help? We will find out together next time when we read this lesson. Okay, children. See you next time.